So in order to measure the, and determine the concentration of nickel in each of these unknown samples, which we have 24 to, to find out, what we do is we make up solutions of known concentration of nickel uh, 2 plus ions, which we make from uh, using nickel nitrate. And to do that, we use volumetric flasks. A volumetric flask is a flask that holds a certain known amount of solution. So what we do is we weigh out our nickel nitrate, so we know the mass of the nickel nitrate, and we dissolve that up in a beaker with some water and we pour it in here and then rinse the beaker into here. And then you fill it up with water up to, there's a line right here, and if you fill it up right to that line, then that, that flask holds exactly the amount it says, which is 250 milliliters. And if you look, if you ever use one of these, it has a little TC marker on there, which means to contain, which means if you fill it up to the mark, as we say, then it contains that amount. So what we've done is we've done that for five different solutions. We've, we've weighed out a mass of nickel nitrate, uh, hexahydrate, added that into our flask, filled up to the mark, and we've made five different solutions of different concentrations for which we know the mass, and therefore we know, and we know the volume, and so therefore we're going to know the concentrations of those. As so we put those in uh, cuvettes, what we're going to do is we're first going to measure the uh, absorbance using the spectrometer of these solutions and use that to make a working curve or a standard curve. And then after we have the standard curve, we're going to then measure the absorptivity of all of our unknowns and use that to then determine their concentration. Okay, so we're ready now to do the experiment. We're ready to make our measurements. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the lambda, uh, Perkin-Alma lambda spectrometer, which is a diode array spectrometer. We're going to set that to the wavelength at which we have the maximum uh, absorbance for the nickel nitrate. And we're going to look at our samples. First, what we're going to do is we're going to do our blank and our five known concentration samples, our standard samples. We'll do those first, and then we'll make a standard curve. But then after that, what we'll do is we'll analyze all 24 of our unknown samples. So it's time to make the measurements. Okay, so we're going to use the Perkin-Elmer Lambda Bio uh, spectrometer. And what we do is we're going to have to choose what we want to measure. So we're going to choose one for standard, mes uh, standard measurements. And we're going to see more, measure the absorption at a single wavelength. So we'll pick one. And the wavelength that we found to be the maximum earlier on was 394 nanometers. So we're going to choose 394 nanometers. And then we're going to be good to go. So push that. And before we can measure our samples, we need to tell the spectrometer what the energy going to the detector is with no um, nickel in our sample. And to do that, we use a, something called a blank. It's a solution that has everything in it except the compound you care about. And so now we're going to do just water. And so normally a blank is the same uh, kind of cuvette, maybe the same cuvette, and uh, the solvent that you're using. So we'll put that in the cell holder. And we're going to push this button here, which means zero absorbance, 100% transmittance, which means that's the sample that has nothing uh, absorbing at the wavelength that you care about. Okay, so that's recorded, and now our absorbance measurement, measurement is uh, zero, as it should be. And so that's actually our first data point, that with no nickel in there, you have no absorbance at 394 nanometers, which is kind of the point. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do our five, um, we have our five samples A through E, and we're going to measure each of those uh, in turn, starting with the least, uh, the least concentrated, E. So we're doing sample E, so you just put that in there, press record, and that has an absorbance of 0 0.212 absorbance units. Okay, next we're going to do sample D. We're writing these down as we go, as, as you will. Sample D is 0 0.398. Sample C, these are remember, getting progressively more concentrated, so the absor absorbance is going up. That's 0.621. Okay, and then sample B. Point eight two seven, and remember that uh, as we talked about earlier, um, the percentage of light going through if you have an absorbance of one is only around ten percent of the light uh, gets through the sample, and so we don't want to go. You go a little bit more than one, but you don't have absorbance values much greater than one. So this is uh, sample A, our most concentrated one, and it's one point zero zero two. 
So it's not actually close to one for any particular reason. It just happened to be that. So that's that's a coincidence from the samples we made up. Okay, so we're done measuring our uh, standard solutions. And now what we're going to do next is we're going to figure out, we're going to develop our standard curve using this information, the masses of the compounds, and doing that in Excel. So that's what we're going to do next.